We are shutting it down. And we have the right to shut it down because these are our streets. This is, this is what our money should be going to, repairing the roads right here, not to funding the genocide of the Palestinian people. Shame! Not to give settlers in Palestine, Israel, so-called Israel, better health care than here in Canada. Shame! Our money should be benefiting us. It should not be going to Israel. It should not be going to the occupation to continue an apartheid, an illegal apartheid, which the ICJ, the highest, highest court in the world, has officially called Israel an apartheid, an occupation, which makes it illegal. So if anyone ever tries to tell you that Israel is not an occupying force. If anyone tries to tell you that Palestine is not under occupation, that there is no apartheid, make sure to tell them, make sure to inform them that no matter what they think, no matter what lies they're trying to feed you, that they have themselves have been fed, you know from the ICJ itself, the highest, I'm going to repeat this because it's so important, because these people love their rules apparently, the highest Court order in the world has declared Israel an occupation. And by the laws of the UN, we know that when people are occupied, in a year, after 315 days, after 315 days, after 315 days, no. do we want it yesterday? No. Do we want it yesterday? Yes. 300, over 300 days. We have reached over 300 days of the genocide. of watching people get killed, watching children become orphans, watching mothers and wives become widows, watching fathers having to live without their family. Shame! We are now here again after we have been called upon by our people in Gaza, by our people in Palestine. We have been asked to use our voice to speak for them, to speak for the voiceless. But we know, despite this, they are not voiceless. Their cries are loud, louder than we could ever be. Their cries are so loud that it's piercing my ears right now. Every time I go to sleep, I hear the children crying for their parents. Every time I go to sleep, I hear the mothers calling out for their children, the fathers crying, crying while they hold their families' corpses. Is that the world we want to live in? No. Do we want to live in a country that funds this? No. Our money should be going to supporting us here in Canada. Our money should not be going to killing children, to killing families. Israel continues. Israel, the occupation, whatever you want to call it, because all those words are true. It is an apartheid. Criminals, there are, it is an apartheid, it is an occupation. It is not a state. It is never and will never be a state. Israel will continue. Israel will continue to bomb these homes. There was a man who went to get his daughter's birth certificates. His daughter, his twin daughter's birth certificates, they were not alive for maybe less than a week. He came back. He came back with their death certificates instead. Shame! That is what our government is funding. That is what Zionists want in this world. That is where your tax money goes. To killing children. Shame! I don't, 
I don't care if you're not Palestinian. I don't care if you're not Muslim and uh, Christian. I don't care what you are. If you are a human, you stand with us. Even if you're not a human, if you hate Trudeau, if you hate your government for wasting your tax money, you should be with us in the street right now. You should always be with us. There is only one solution.
as a result of Israel's genocide on Gaza could be anywhere between 200,000 to half a million people dead! Just this week, Gaza's first case of polio was confirmed. There are currently no cures for polio. Polio is a virus that can cause permanent paralysis. Before the genocide, polio was eradicated from Gaza 25 years ago. Shay! Gaza, Gaza, you will rise! Gaza, Gaza, you will rise! So 1967, all of it is the Palestinian land. All of it from the river to the sea. I'm talking a lot, I know, I'm talking a lot, but I feel like it's very important that we understand what we're saying. We can't sit here chanting when we don't know what we're saying. I don't want you to just repeat. I want you to be telling me, responding. I want you to be chanting with every bit of power. From the bottom of your heart, I want to hear every chant. I want you to chant so loud. I want you to yell so loud, clap, stomp, whatever. I want you to make enough noise so that our people in Gaza can hear us. And I need you to also get closer if you can. Get closer if you can. We have a lot of space. If you're at the front, you're okay. I'm saying from the back, we have a lot of space on the other side. If you're on the side of Union, we have a lot of space around us. It's okay. Get closer. We don't bite. We're not Zionists. From the river to the sea! To simply listen. One of our demands is the right to return to all Palestinians, to the land of Palestine. All Palestinian land, all occupied settlements must return to the Palestinians. And that is only going to happen through resistance. And we know that. There is resistance all over. Have it be on the ground in Gaza. Have it be here in Canada with every single one of you. To an extent, we are the resistance. That is not just a chant. That is not just a chant. Please do not let my words get twisted. We are the resistance and we will continue to resist against our government's lies, their fascism, and their continued, to su uh, continued support to the occupation. So I must remind you, one of, one of our demands is the right to return to Palestinians. And another way of saying we are returning is Raja. Fabricate, we understand that. They continue to take our chants, our sayings, and everything we say from, from the river to the sea to Intifada. They continue to twist the words. Why do I keep using these terms to make sure they know that they're wrong? We understand what it means. From the river to the sea simply means that all of Palestine, from the river to the sea, very simply, will be free. We will not have Zionists in our land. We will not have occupation. We will not have apartheid. It is our land. So, when I say from the river to the sea or intifada, I need you to say it as loud as possible. So even the Zionists here, even when they close their ears and say la 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 la, they can still hear us. From the river to the sea. After 316 days of genocide shape. I don't think you heard me. After 316 days of genocide shame. Over 300 days of rage. Over 300 days of getting updates of the newest massacre that the occupation has committed on the Palestinian people. 300 days is more than an academic year. There are people going back to university or school now after the fact that they witnessed this genocide at the beginning of their academic year. 316 days, that is almost a full calendar year. Shame! 
another massacre has been committed by the occupation and we're back on the streets demanding for something to change. Just last week, while our people in Gaza were, pray were praying Salat al-Fajr, the occupation sent a missile, martyring over 100 people. Let me repeat, Israel killed over 100 people praying in the early morning. Shame! For our people in Gaza, we know that their Iman is strong, stronger than any of ours. They know that death is not the end and they know that they have the greatest honor out of any of us. May we be as strong as our people in Gaza. May we be as inspirational as our people in Gaza. And may we help our people in Gaza to our absolute most. Why can I say this so confidently about our people in Gaza? Why am I speaking of their Iman, of their faith? I'll answer that with a question. What is the closest mosque to your own home that has over 100 people praying Salat al-Fajr? What is the closest masjid that you know of that has over 100 people pray praying Salat al-Fajr? When was the last time you have heard in general of people praying, over 100 people praying Salat al-Fajr here in Canada? The outcome of the massacre was so bad that the family of the martyrs couldn't even identify the remains. The remains were divided by weight to differentiate adults and children. When have you ever heard of bags of people's remains being given out to their family and being told, this is your parent, this is your partner, this is your child, and this is all that is left of them? Have any of you carried 70 kilograms? Imagine that is a bag of your family's remains, and it may not even be your family. It might be someone else's family completely. You may not even have a piece of flesh in that bag from your mother, your daughter, from your father, your son, from your brother, your sister, from your grandfather, of whomever in your family. You could be carrying an absolute stranger's remains. No, no, no. Shame! Parents are being given bags of flesh and asked to treat it as if they were their child. An 18 kilogram bag was handed to a father and he told them, I don't know if this is my son or not. And they responded by telling him, bury him as if he is. He has no idea if he's even holding a son. You might be coming now with loved ones. You might be coming with your children. You might be coming with your sisters, your brothers, your parents. Imagine needing to carry them. No matter how much they weigh, no matter, imagine being handed a bag, having to carry them and bury them in the ground, not even knowing if it's actually them. Praying, praying at the very least, Ya Rab, at least give me their arm. Ya Rab, at least give me their finger. Ya Rab, a hair. They, don't, they wouldn't have had hair. It would have been burnt by the missile. Doctors in Gaza are on an all-time low. There are no functioning hospitals as Israel continues to bomb whatever is left of these hospitals. Shame! Shame! Mosques and churches are being destroyed left and right. Civilians are getting kidnapped under the disguise of it being imprisonment and then raped in those prisons. Shame! Shame! I'm going to repeat that. It's crude, but I'm going to repeat that. People are being kidnapped under a false pretense and then raped in those prisons. The only democracy in the Middle East. It makes no sense. If that's what democracy is. There are people being martyred as they simply worship. There are people being murdered as they go to get bread for their family. There are people being murdered as they go to buy clothes for their newly born children, as they go to get the birth certificates of their children. They don't even have time to name their children properly until they die. There are mothers, mothers who are pregnant, expecting a child. There are mothers who are still expecting, maybe the next day they were going to give birth and they find her corpse under the rubble of her home.
The settlers celebrate as the occupation targets and kills a mother and her two children. Shame. The settlers celebrate as they see open violence against Palestinians in settlements. Shame. The settlers do nothing to help the Palestinians, even the ones who want Netanyahu to step down. They are acting in their own interest, not in the interest of the people they are uh, oppressing. Shame. Shame. Netanyahu is not the uh, full problem. The entire colonialist ideology of Zionism is. The occupation of Palestine, that they call Israel, is the problem. The settlers are celebrating our suffering are the problem. The ones who demonize our resistance are the problem. But remember this. Remember this with your heart and never forget it. The occupied, the occupied, no matter what, are all civilians, even when they pick up a gun. And the settlers, the settlers, every single one of them, the settlers are all still terrorists, even if all they do is plant a flower. I. In the end of the day, we are here again asking for our government for a change. We are here demanding a change. And we will be back as many times as we are called upon by our people in Gaza. We are here to speak. We are here to use our voices for them. We are here now to make sure that our people in Gaza the Zionists that are heartless, the people that are walking by that don't recognize that their tax money isn't going to support them, is actually going to a genocide. We're making sure they understand that we are all connected in this. We are all connected in this. The Palestinian liberation, it is a cause, it is a movement that affects all of us. Israel has connections everywhere with Albert systems where they send weapons to any country. They are involved in the minings in the Congo. They are involved in the displacement in the Sudan. Israel has hands everywhere. They are involved here in Canada, whether you want to believe it or not. We are here to make sure that change will happen. We are here to make sure that our martyrs, we are here to make sure that our martyrs, their memory will live on. We are here to make sure that our martyrs, we will never forget them, and we will honor all of our martyrs, all of our children, our sons, our daughters, our mothers and fathers, every single one of them. We are going to honor every single one of them. Have it be in our prayers, have it be in our chants, have it be when we walk. We will never forget them, we will never forget Palestine, we will never forget Gaza. So I ask you, please remember, remember Palestine in your du'as, in your prayers, in your day-to-day -day life. Remember to continue to boycott. Remember to continue, no matter how hard it is. Boycotting is not meant to be easy. None of this is meant to be easy. We are the underdogs. We are fighting. We are fighting for justice. And we know that justice usually is never coming from the big guys. It's never coming from the government. It's never coming from the massive corporations. It's up to us. Like in South Africa, the South African apartheid, it was... It is up to the people, because we know the people united have never been defeated, and they will never be defeated, no matter what. If you guys are tired, you can sit down, by the way. We understand, we understand that power is to us, power is to the people. We are here, we will be here, we will stay here, until our demands are met. Until our demands are met! And from the river to the sea, 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 from the sea to the river, from the sea to the river. Amen, Amen, Amen. 
للمية للمية فلسطين عربية فلسطين عربية من المية للمية من المية للمية and there is only one solution there is only one solution Intifada revolution there is only one solution there is only one solution there is only one solution Intifada revolution Intifada revolution Intifada revolution Intifada revolution This is not acceptable This is not acceptable Jerusalem's our capital Jerusalem's our capital Free free Palestine Free 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 Palestine Free 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 Palestine Free 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 Palestine I hope the river to the sea From the river to the sea From the river to the sea from the sea to the river From the sea to the river
So we were able to choke the city's transportation for a few hours. With that being said, I know that what we're doing is not enough. Whatever we do for the people of Gaza and the people of Palestine, nothing will ever be enough. This is something all of you have to understand. It doesn't matter how much we're burnt out. We do not operate based on results. We operate based on resolve. We will keep coming out. We will keep taking these streets. The people of Gaza need us to come out. Whether you're Palestinian, whether you're Arab, whether you're Muslim, whether you're Christian, whether you're allies, whether you're indigenous, doesn't matter where you're from. Every single person has the responsibility to come out and support the people of Gaza. responsibility to come out. Nothing we will ever do will ever be enough. It doesn't matter if we stay here the whole day. The people of Gaza are strengthened by the resistance. The only thing that will set us free is our resistance. are being manufactured right here in Canada. When I say this, I want you to realize all of you have a role to play. Don't say, oh, I'm living in Canada, what can I do? This is what we can do. It's by spreading awareness, by shutting down the streets, by reminding everybody. There can be no business as usual when our oppressed people are getting killed every day. We will continue to show up like day, rain, sunny, snow, it doesn't matter. We will continue to make our stand clear, to make our voice heard, to be the voice of the voiceless, to be the voice of the oppressed people of Gaza. Love in regard to our country, journalists, and themselves. 